Hey folks, welcome back to the CASPA special update. I'm Alex. And I'm Jamie. And Alex, I've been hearing buzz about some proposal that Sumpolinsky and Sutton dropped. Something about ZK programs on CASPA's L1? You've been glued to it all day. Oh, Jamie, this one's big. Imagine if every app you've ever used on blockchain wasn't stuck on some rollup, wasn't slowed by L2 bottlenecks, but instead lived directly on CASPA's L1. And not just lived, ran at full speed, trustlessly, with the ability to instantly talk to other apps. So not just another smart contract tweak. Exactly. They're talking about VProgs, verifiable programs. Each one is basically its own little sovereign machine. It's got its own accounts, its own state, its own rules for how fast it runs, how much storage it uses. And here's the magic. They can interact with other VProgs instantly, atomically. That's synchronous composability. You can read from one app, write to another, all in a single transaction. And it all either happens together or not at all. And this is all on L1? Yep. No rollups, no extra trust assumptions, no bridge middleman trying to hold your liquidity hostage. Okay, but why is this such a big deal? Because without native sync composability, users and liquidity gravitate to whatever rollup or L2 does have it. And those rollups, they have no incentive to interoperate. They become the casino that wants to keep you at their tables. This proposal says, why not make L1 itself the casino floor with every table connected and nobody owns the floor? <laughs> I like that analogy. So how do these VProgs keep from stepping on each other? Account-based design. Instead of locking the whole program when you touch it, you only lock the account you actually interact with. That keeps everything else parallel. And unlike Solana, where that parallelism still sits in one unified runtime, here, each VProg is sovereign. Which means one bloated or slow VProg doesn't hurt the rest. Exactly. It can even set its own gas prices, its own constants for storage growth. Total control. But if they're sovereign, how do you trust another VProg? That's where things like ZK SBOM come in. It's a zero-knowledge proof that the program's source matches certain safety and structure rules. Plus, you can require source code availability and verify the VM type. They want to automate this vetting so you can safely know which VProgs you can interact with. All right, let's get a little nerdy. How does a cross VProg call actually work? Okay, scenario time. Say VProg A wants to read from an account in VProg B and then write to one of its own accounts. The transaction needs to bring along all the witness data, basically the proof inputs that VProg B needs but hasn't already stored. It also has to pay gas to VProg B for the scope of work. Scope here means the slice of state B needs to recompute. And here's the clever bit. Faster validity proofs shrink the scope, which makes these transactions cheaper and easier. But what if a transaction says it'll read something and then doesn't? Ah, that's the read fail problem. Their fix, require that transactions start by reading all declared read accounts. Use gas commitments inside the transaction so you can tell before execution if the reads are funded. That way, a missing write doesn't cause sneaky problems. Okay, that's smart. So they've thought about the bad actors. Oh yeah, and there's more. They also talk about conditional proofs. Let's say a cross VPro transaction has three steps across three VPROGs. Each VPro can prove its part conditionally, meaning it's only valid if the previous step's proof checks out. Once all parts are proven, you stitch them together and update all the states at once. That sounds fast if everyone cooperates. Exactly. If provers are responsive, it's lightning. If not, you can still do it, but the transaction's scope and cost grows. So where does async composability fit in? Async means you can still talk across VProgs, but you lose atomicity or add latency, especially if you're waiting on multiple proofs. It's useful, but the real gem is sync composability at L1 speed. All right, money question, literally. What's the gas model here? Two big ideas. Parallelism aware gas. You pay based not just on computation, but how much it forces things to run sequentially. Continuous account dependency, CAD. If VProg A talks to VProg B a lot, it can pay B to continuously monitor a specific account, so interactions are instant without fetching fresh witnesses every time. Could CAD be abused? Potentially, but they suggest cost sharing. You fund an initial deposit, and then future transactions that benefit from the CAD help refill the costs. Okay, this is all very on-chain. What about off-chain? They've thought of that too. 
Broadcasting witnesses off-chain could speed things up if proof latency is high or witness data is huge. But the trade-off is complexity and possibly compromising the confirm at sequencing latency goal, unless you're willing to trust that the witness won't disappear. So they're not just engineering this. They're thinking game theory, incentives, worst case scenarios. Exactly. They even mentioned creating a canonical covenant, basically a standard template vprogs can instantiate, or a meta vprog that handles scope calculations across the network. That way, everyone plays by compatible rules for composability. Alex, I'm thinking about the real world stuff here, like decentralized exchanges swapping directly with lending protocols in one atomic move. No bridges, no L2 liquidity traps. Exactly. Or gaming. One VProg runs the game logic, another runs the marketplace, and they can interact instantly without trusting each other's execution. And no massive hardware bloat for full nodes? Right. Because each VProg controls its own state size, L1 doesn't get clogged up. It's just anchoring the ZK proofs and the minimal data needed. <sighs> Man, if they actually deliver this... Yellow paper end of the month, production-ready testnet after. And if it works like they're aiming for, Caspa stops being just the fast chain and becomes the platform where everything happens directly on L1. Fast, trustless, and sovereign. Folks, that's your deep dive Caspa special. The future isn't just knocking, it's pounding on the door. And Caspa might be the one swinging it wide open.